welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the advanced higher technique of colorimetry. Colorimetry is the use of coloured solutions to be able to find concentrations. The intensity of the colour relates to the concentration of the solution. Here we have a bottle of one molar copper chloride solution, which is blue. We're going to do some accurate dilutions to make some standard solutions. Standard solutions are solutions of accurately known concentration. From these, we can then measure their absorbance, which will relate to their concentration. A calibration graph can then be drawn, and we can find the concentration of unknown solutions of copper chloride. To carry out the accurate dilutions, we're going to pipette 20 milliliters of our stock solution, one molar copper chloride solution, and we're going to put this into a 100 milliliter standard flask. We'll then dilute with deionized water up to the graduated line. After this, we will then take 20 ml of this new solution and place it into a second standard flask and dilute to the line. This process will then be repeated twice more. As you can see, as the solutions get diluted, the blue colour becomes less intense. This is what the colorimeter will measure. Pause the video now and calculate the concentration of the solutions. 20 millilitres of the original 1 mole per litre solution was used. This was diluted to 100 millilitres. The dilution was then repeated twice more. To carry out serial dilution calculations, you need to use the C1V1 equals C2V2 equation, which you can find at the front of your data book. C1 is the concentration of the original solution, V1 is the volume, C2 is the concentration we're trying to calculate, and V2 is the volume that you dilute to. For our first concentration, we had one mole per litre, and we were using 20 millilitres of that solution. We're trying to calculate C2, and we were diluting to 100 millilitres. This means that C2 is equal to 0.02 divided by 0 0.1, which is 0 0.2 moles per litre. We're going to repeat this twice more. C1 is now the new concentration, and V1 is the amount that we're going to use to dilute. C2 is the concentration we're trying to find, and V2 is the dilution volume. So now C1 is 0 0.2, multiplied again by the 0 0.02 that we're taking out of the flask, we're trying to calculate C2 and we're diluting to 100 millilitres. C2 in this case will be 0 0.004 divided by 0 0.1. This will give a concentration of 0 0.04 moles per litre. In the final dilution, we're doing C1V1 equals C2V2 again. This time, C1 is our new concentration. 0.04 multiplied by the pipette value 0.02 and we're trying to calculate C2. This is multiplied by the volume that we're diluting to 0.1. C2 will now be 0.0008 divided by 0.1 so our final concentration will be 0.008. To carry out the colorimetry itself we use a colorimeter. Here's an example of a very basic colorimeter. This colorimeter has three different colour options, red, green and blue. We need to choose the colour which is closest to the opposite on the colour wheel. In this case, we're going to use red. We have the option to measure either absorbance or transmittance. We're going to measure absorbance. We first need to calibrate the colorimeter using the solvent that was used. In this case, it was water. 
Here we've calibrated the colorimeter and we're going to start with our least concentrated solution. This was the solution with the concentration of 0.008 moles per litre. We put the solution into the colorimeter and take the reading. We then repeat this with the next solution, which had a concentration of 0.04. This has a reading of 0.33. We then take our next dilution, which had a concentration of 0.2 moles per litre. And this has a reading of 0.186. Our final reading is with the one molar copper chloride solution, which has a reading of 0.967. We're now going to take a solution which has been diluted by an unknown amount. We put this into the colorimeter and take the reading. Here's a calibration graph that was produced from the standard solutions and their absorbances. Use this to find the concentration of the unknown solution. The unknown solution had an absorbance of 0 0.307. If we have a look at the calibration graph and we go across at this value until we hit the line, we can then trace this down to find what the concentration would be. Based off this graph, I would estimate that the concentration is going to be around 0 0.32 moles per litre. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Miss Adams Chem, and TikTok, Miss Adams Chem. Bye for now.